you doing everybody on this wonderful morning? We're heading down to the other farm. I'm just going slow because the tractor's still cool. But we need to mow some pastures to keep Pingai away, hopefully. Because the grass that they're eating is low and the grass that's like older orchard grass is taller. That'll poke them in the eyes and that's not really good. Not like a Pinga. So we're gonna go mow some of that down and I believe there's a chance of rain and we have some other things to mow possibly once it does rain. This rye beside the lane here has pollen on it and that's the new hay field. We'll be mowing that once it's done raining. That's the plan anyway. Adrian mowed and tetted this one and a half two acre field yesterday and also a few of the was always pasture in the past years. We took up down all the pasture and changed that to a hay field. So that's gonna be mowed this year. We mowed it and tetted it yesterday also. And we're, I'm not sure yet, but I was thinking about putting that into corn. So that might go into corn this year, or it might stay a hay field and go into, stay, might stay a hay field this year and go into corn next year. We'll have to see though. Okay, we're here at our first paddock. I think I'm gonna mow all this out here just to kind of clean up the farm, make it look like somebody cares. Uh, then it's not much of an area here, but it is a little bit of a steep hill, so I have to be careful. I got this field done. Now, just need to go over to the next paddock and do that one. Then, come out of that paddock and go down there where Adrian is to cattle, which there's some um, gate handles open up here, or that you can't open. I'll probably just go through those, then I can mow all that. All this up here, all down to the barn. It's going to take a little while, not because it's a lot of area, but because it's a lot of little corners. So there's another steep, really, really steep part up here, just on the other side of that fence. You get three cornered piece, it's kind of weird to mow. Uh, but that. It'll take a little while because you have to go pretty slow and it's sharp turns. Then this here is small area, sharp turns again. Same up there, there's a fence running like right through everything, right through the middle of it. Otherwise it wouldn't be too bad. So it still isn't too bad, it'd be a lot nicer for fences wouldn't be there because you could get a lot more done per hour, but that's okay. We'll just mow it quick, be done with it. Got everything mowed. Those two paddocks up there, corner around there, and then on the other side here, this side, and over there by the hay wagon. Now I'm gonna head home. And our Adrian changed pastures here. It's, it didn't rain yet, so won't be mowing hay till after that, I think. Or if it looks like it's not gonna rain at all, then we might run it. Well, I'm headed back out the lane. This field here, not sure we might do that, but I'm gonna go do four fields, at least four fields away from here, and they'd be about, it's gonna be less than 10 acres, but they're smaller fields. That's 10 acres total. So I'm gonna go do that. They're about that way, about two, two and a half miles by the road. It takes a little, little to get, get there, but not overly long. Get some chicken litter from these far this these chicken barns at times. I'm on a little back road on the way up through. I'm going the back way because that's the best way to get into most of the fields. One field it doesn't matter. One field, but three of the fields go in one path, and you need the driveway angles this way. Field one has this weird little corner and a bunch of apple trees, I believe over there then can't see it now but there's some field up behind there that's not obstructed by trees i got one pass around the field done and this weird little peninsula i guess you could call it piece that actually is some pretty nice thick hay but it's a little bit on the old side so we'll see how horses like it one field's done Three more to go. Next field. 
this little three cornered piece. It's pretty steep here, so I have to be careful. Then the next two fields are down there. I had to come in over there. I got, I'm gonna get this smaller field done, so that way it's done, and I can go to the bigger field. And triangle field is finished. And the next field is just down from the triangle field. This is the big field, or the biggest of this group. And I need to be careful down there. It, it can get pretty wet. There's actually reeds growing there. There's at times where we wouldn't be able to mow a lot of this because of it being so wet. And also as clarification, the fields I've mowed so far are from my aunt. We're doing it for making the hay for her. She doesn't live far from here, so it's just a neighbor. Then the next field up there is one that I actually rent for the first time this year. I saw a deer. Anyway, that's the only other field that hay isn't going to go directly to my aunt. This is pretty well as far over as I could get. I didn't want to really push it here because over here I made a little bit of a rut with the disc spine to start with. And I think I'm still okay. See a little bit I made a little bit of wet because or there where the grass doesn't didn't grow for whatever reason uh, it was still wet was pretty wet and the big fields done Up there's three doe from what I can tell three deer I don't know if you can see them or not they're up here feeding I don't see any others. Oh, that's cool. I think they're all dull. They look, they look to be on the younger side. I don't think there's a lot of human interaction up here with the deer, anyway. Because every night that I've come up here when it's starting to get close to dark, this is the first place they're out every time. Okay, change of plans. My aunt wants some of her pastures mowed. So, I'm just going to head home while, before it's dark yet. I'm not even going to start on this field. Deer went into the woods now. But dad's here. He's going to take me home. And we'll be back to do this in the morning. Well, this is a fun turn of events tonight. It's 8.30 and dad gets a phone call from a neighbor. That he has one of our steers over. Over there. So now we're gonna hook up the cattle trailer and head over there and get it. Adrian just moved in 2675. Adrian's just moving the 2675 right now. Then I can get to the cattle trailer better. Hook it up. I'm gonna take the ranger out to the end of the lane. That way, once we come back, we'll have the ranger out there be good to go check fence there we go now we're in gear here they come slowly compared to me let's look at this rye while we're over here out here I'm waiting on them <clears throat> so some of it is basically as tall as me some of it is shorter yeah it's getting in my face Earlier today I had seen there was a bunch of pollen on them. And this one has some on yet. This one not so much. Grain, the heads are formed but the grain itself hasn't gotten hard yet. Time just so happens to be a little bit past 9.30. Got trailer unhooked. And dad's putting the truck away. Move this light around a little bit. Hopefully that's better. And we got the steer put away. First we thought it wasn't ours because it didn't look quite the same. But it did. we went check the cattle. Ah, he's not there. So we went back, picked him up. Everything went good, thankfully. So, yeah. This is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.